Hi guys, May Flom here, and I am setting up, these are just some hard plastic little paint cups. I'm setting up my little cups here because I am going to do a pour. I am going to do, this is a little pencil tray that I'm making for a dorm, for a special freshman in college, and I'm just gonna put a little pouring medium in each one of these cups, okay? And pouring medium, what it does is it's going to make it possible for me to do all kinds of fun paint effects with acrylic paint. So to, to do this, you're gonna need the pouring medium, you're going to need some acrylic paint, and you're also going to want the cell creator. Now the Dina Wakely pouring medium and cell creator, I purchased it, came together, and that's really fantastic because then it's all right there and I'm ready to go. Now acrylic paint, of course, you can use the Dina Wakely paints. I love my Dina Wakely paints and use them a lot. This is the lapis, so I'll use some of that. And what you're gonna wanna do is just squirt some in there and then just start mixing it up. You can see, ha, huh, one of my old popsicle sticks here. And with each color, however many colors you want to work with, you're just going to mix and mix and mix until you've got it all stirred up. And I think I put a little too much paint in this one, so I may have to add a little more pouring medium. It's supposed to be about three to one ratio, but you wanna keep on stirring and mixing until it is all the way blended. So I've got my box, and no, you don't need to do anything to prep it. And now I've got all my various colors here. I'm gonna do a couple of different things. So. I mentioned before, after it's all stirred, then you put the cell creator. It just takes a drop. You can kind of maybe see there's a drop of it there, and you just stir it in until the paint is all mixed together. I like to stir it. I've been stirring it, and then I set it aside, and I go and look at the other paints and make sure they're stirred. So here's what I'm gonna do. This one, I, this is a very, very dark blue. So I wanted contrast, so I added a little tiny bit of black to the blue, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this in, okay? This is our first color here, and I'm just scraping it out here and pouring it in. And I'm just gonna do this one color, and I'll explain here as I pull, I'm just trying to make sure I get as much out as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this around until the base is coated, okay? So I'll use this little popsicle stick and yes my hands are going to get messy and yes it's going to be a mess but what I'm trying to do is just get this whole entire thing coated with the very dark blue so that is all coated you can see I mean it's it's thin in spots thick in spots but it's all basically coated and I'll just run my finger along the edge if I find any edges that aren't and I'm not worried about the top what I'm going to do when this is all done guys is I will paint the outside white Okay, so I'm not worried about the outside. I just wanna make sure that inside it's all nice and coated. And then here's what we're gonna do next. What we're gonna do next is I've got all my paints. I'm just gonna give them one more stir because right now you're going, May, why'd you do that? That's, there's no point to this. That's just painted. You could have just poured paint in there. Well, watch, because now what I'm gonna do is this is known as a dirty pour and this is the best way to get the results. So. I am indeed, you see me scraping this paint right into the other color of paint, which seems crazy. It seems like they're gonna mix and they're not gonna be cool. They will be, I promise. And I'm just, I always do this where I just give it a quick stir again right before I go, just because I wanna make sure everything is really well mixed. It is very important. And I'm just going, I'm just dumping that paint in there, okay. There's that, and then this one, this kind of pearlescent one, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but this is a pearlescent acrylic paint that it I just thought might work, so uh, we're gonna see what that does. I haven't tried this particular paint before. It's more of a finish or an additive, but we'll see if it, it what it does. And yes, even the white, we're just pouring it all in there like so, okay? And then I've gotta try to, extract my popsicle stick here. Now here's where it gets magic. First of all, if you look right in there, you're gonna see it's starting. Do you see up over here? You're starting to see those cool effects. Well, watch this. We're gonna plop it down and I'm just gonna kind of give it a shake here. Okay, it's, it's, it's going. And I can even go so far as to take, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. 
Oh, I'm so excited right now. This is the funnest part because it, you, you're gonna have to let go of creative control. Let it be what it's gonna be. Your control is over the colors you pick. I picked a white and also an almost black for contrast in addition to these other colors. Now what we're gonna do is let it roll. And because I've got all that dark blue paint in there already, it's gonna roll really nicely, really quickly, really easily. And we're just gonna let it do its thing. And we're gonna let it react. And you can move it as much as you want. I'm not actually gonna touch it. I'm just going to let it roll around here until I'm satisfied that all of the parts are covered. Once you're satisfied, guys, look how cool that is. It's so crazy. Once you are satisfied with it, and all I'm doing is tilting it, okay? I'm not doing anything else. And the cell creator and all of this, that's how you're getting all those individual, it's not blending, it's just making all kinds of cool little pockets of color. That's how you get it. With this done, all you're gonna do is let it dry. Let it dry completely before you do anything else. I'm just gonna wipe away any paint that's up here on the top because I know that I'm going to paint that with a different treatment. And you're set, you're good to go. You've got a super cool thing to do. And with these little bits and pieces, you can make like a tag or something, put a little tag out and try to scrape any leftover paint and then start again. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and check out the blog post for this for even more photos and details.